Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. This one's a bit different, if you can't tell from the thumbnail and title already. We've got some very interesting and also very exciting news. Because out of basically nowhere, Emil Mako, the creator of Five Nights at Candy's, just announced a brand new FNAC game. So in this video, we're going to go through not only the teaser trailer for the video, kind of speculate what is it going to be about, how does it fit into the overall FNAC series, a little bit of speculation about is it or is it not in the Fazbear Fanverse initiative, because I think that is the big question that everyone is kind of wondering about. So all that and more, that's what we're tackling in today's video. If you're excited, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're brand new, we got a lot of brand new people. We just passed actually 40,000 subs, which thank you so much. It's absolutely insane. Again, thank you so much. If you're brand new, subscribe, hit the like button. That also means a lot to me. So now let's move on. Let's talk about FNAC, this brand new game and how it fits into the FNAC series. So the other day, Emil had a stream going where he played through Security Breach. And every time he left the room, he would put on a B-Right back screen. What's interesting though, is on the B-Right back screens, we would sometimes get a riddle. And this is the first one says hello testing testing beep boop bap bleep can anyone hear me or well i guess this is where the phrase do you read me is more amped anyway huh don't you remember me it's your best friend we used to play together all the time don't worry we'll get to play again soon by the way want to hear a riddle it goes like this which side of a cat has the most fur can you crack it that's right the outside of the cat. The real funny thing is, that riddle had an inside joke, pun intended. Hopefully you'll find out soon enough, dot dot dot. Any house, I gotta skedaddle before I'm beat with a paddle. Interesting. Uh, this little convo stays between us, okay? Though, I might be back if the opportunity shows itself. See ya! So that was the first message. And obviously, the mention of a cat, and also the color scheme of red and blue, had people thinking, this is some sort of announcement for a FNAC game. And we're gonna touch upon who is actually leaving these messages in a little bit, but for right now, let's move on to the next message. Hey, Omeo! I'm back again. Boy, this secure breach game sure looks interesting. I'd bet, like, 50 sticks of gum that's not better than oh that's right i haven't even told you yet i've been working on a grandtastic game for us to play it's got action it's got that kapow that replayability it's sort of built on this other game that you really liked very exciting stuff been working real hard on it i'll try to fetch a small preview just for you just a sec and then that is the second message and now this is the end of the stream where we get the third and final message Sorry, sorry, that took longer than I thought it would, and, uh, I had to hide away for a bit there. You didn't spoil our secret discussion here, did ya? Ha, I trust you, we're the bestest of friends. So, let's play. <laughs> here it is! <laughs> what a good night's sleep I just had. Though, what weird dream. What was it about again? I forget. But, what's this? Absolutely nothing! There, appe there appears to not be any problem. No problems in any place whatsoever. How convenient. That means I got all day to myself. Better get to it. <laughs> uh, I love little candy. I love you, my babies. Those are his ties. <laughs> Just looks so cute. <laughs> hey, there's Cindy. Candy. Oh, hey. It's my twin sister, Cindy. Candy, you idiot. You totally left a huge mess outside yesterday. What are you talking about, Sisterino? <laughs> Your fur! It's all over the place, clumped up into big fur clumps. This is literally unreal. How did you even manage to lose so much fur? Shrug. Did you just say shrug out loud? It sounds like a big problem for anyone but me, everyone but me. What can we do to fix this? <laughs> you need to go collect all your fur, all of it. But I'm just the, uh, spearhead mascot of the burger joint. I can't do stuff on my own. Will you please help me collect my fur? You make a fair point. Fine, I will come along with you on this adventure. Then, I can also make sure, uh, you don't screw things up for forever. Was that a goddamn pun? Oh, further. It was still a pun, though. Never do that again. You can now swap between Candy and Cindy with C. Sounds like a useless game mechanic. <laughs> You're the useless game mechanic. <laughs> so, this is the brand new FNAF, FNAF game. F 
FNAF fur. <laughs> and it's like FNAF World, but not really. Quote by someone, maybe. Coming to you at some point in the future. I don't know when exactly. This game's not finished yet. Why don't you go ask your mom? So that was the teaser trailer, and Emil said on Twitter that FNAF Fur is a expanded game based on Candy's adventure from FNAF 3. And if the story of the game sounded a bit familiar, it's because we've actually heard this before. In the Five Nights at Candy's 4 trailer, the April Fool's joke video, we got, obviously, a tease of a FNAF 4 trailer, and then it turned out to be just a big troll and a joke. And as you can see, not many people actually watched through this video, but it gives us a it gives us an idea of what FNAF Fur is going to be about because it shares a very very similar story because this is how the story of this video goes. It goes Candy loses his fur and Cindy demands Candy goes to pick it all up. There are fur balls scattered across the world and Candy must collect all of them before 6 a.m. Otherwise, and this is a quote, the world dies because Candy's fur is so powerful and blue. Chester, Blake, and the penguin are also here. The boss dog, <laughs> which is uh, this lovely fellow right here, is back and angry that his castle is littered with Candy's fur. He takes the penguin as a hostage and threatens to kill him if Candy doesn't pick up his fur. Candy ends up kicking butt and killing the boss dog <laughs> instead of cleaning up the fur balls. And finally, I would like to point your attention towards this section of the video so towards the end. Climactic. So what if, what if, what if the entire thing Oh my god, yeah, that's this is a really good video. Listen up, okay. So what if he's the passionate about this thing was actually orchestrated? Hear me out. Was in fact orchestrated Listening Emil? By the fan oh. from Five Nights at Candies. No way! Or, sorry, was there a fan in Five Nights at Candies? I can't actually remember. I think there was. Anyways, the idea behind this is that this whole trailer was being orchestrated by the fan, but in this case, it is actually the, um, the Lollipop Peppermint Dude. So, Lollipop is the one who is leaving us those messages in Emil's, uh, Security Breach stream. And it looks like he has this game, and he was the one that sent us the preview. So now that we've seen the teaser trailer, we kind of know what the lore, the story of the game is going to be about because of this April Fool's video. The big question everyone's wondering... Why is this being made? How does it fit into the Fazbear Fanverse initiative and also the overall Candies, you know, series of games? I just want to say we do not know if this is part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. Emil hasn't said anything. I don't know if he's going to say anything. I feel like if it was, it would have been in a tr uh, like a tweet or a teaser, that teaser. So I'm inclined to say that I don't think this is part of the Fanverse. I think this is more likely just Emil saying a lot of appreciation people had for Candy's Adventure um, from FNAF 3 and realized, hey, you know, maybe we can make a fully-fledged game out of this. I could definitely see this being added to the fanverse. I think it would be a nice little bonus game to, uh, kind of like Pop Goes in the Machinist when you buy it on Steam, which, hey, the way, and by the way, you should go buy Pop Goes Arcade on Steam. You buy Pop Goes Arcade, and you also get a bonus game of The Machinist, which is a full-on sequel. I could see it being the case where you buy, let's say, like FNAF 4 on uh, mobile or maybe the candies bundle on console and it comes built in with FNAC fur. I think that could be really cool, but right now I just don't think it's in the fanverse because I feel like something would have been said. I do hope it gets added. If it's not, uh, if it is, I guess we're just waiting on a official announcement. Maybe once we get more info on the game, maybe once we get a release date, they'll say, hey, you know, turns out surprise, but for right now, it doesn't seem like it is, but again, I would love for it to be in the fanverse. But I think that's going to do it for FNAF Fur, a very, very interesting announcement. What do you guys think? I know there was a lot of people hoping that the announcement was going to be something about FNAF 4, because we're still waiting on an update revolving around that game. But also, I'm extremely excited because the dialogue and the art style of this game look absolutely incredible. So even if this wasn't a FNAF 4 announcement, I'm still really excited for this game because it looks so fun. It looks so cute. I absolutely cannot wait. So again, tell me what do you think about FNAC fur in the comments down below, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.